more Surf Monkey videos. Okay, so I took out the um, seed hacks. So this is seed hacking part two. Um, I just took these out of the heater closet. So in real time, I haven't opened these yet. In real time, we will check it out together and see what we got. And it's a mixed bag. You know, some of these seeds, I actually noticed the jalapeno peppers were, um, I wrote 2011. The seeds were actually from 2008. So I'm not even sure if these were viable, but we're gonna find out right now. So this is a catnip that we have. It's our heirloom quality catnip. Um, the Pacific Northwest is a really strong variety that has, um, you know, has a really big minty smell to it, but cats seem to like it. And as we can see, there are not really, well, you know, there's a few sprouts. Um, I don't know how well this camera's picking it up, but that one has sprouted. You can see the tap root coming out, another one here. All the seeds are swollen. Um, I can see that one has a tap root. I actually expected to see more than that. <laughs> but uh, again, um, just because we're using the heater closet and I'm just placing these directly on top of the heater, the actual heat um, of each individual spot is a variant. So even, even in like a pack like this, you might have like one warm spot and one not. But this just seems like... Um, uh, general germination rate. So um, seven days later, this is actually not too bad. Um, but at least what we can do from this is that we know that these are the viable seeds. I'm going to pluck these out later, plant them into our seedling starter trays. Um, and I know that these seeds will indeed sprout. I'll put the rest back into the heater closet, maybe wait another three to four days, see which one of those um, are germinating then, and then um, plant those as they go along. So um, is this a good part? That's why it's called a seed hack. We just want to see uh, which ones are sprouting and put those in and then um, all the dead seeds we know won't go in there so we won't have in theory we won't have an unoccupied cell at the very end eh, okay let's check out the rest of our stuff here that's catnip herb mix now this one is uh, again a mixed bag i think there's basil and whatever else i said chives and uh, two other things um, i can already see a sprout coming out the side of the bag there so we know that there are some sprouts in this one So again, uh, these are Ed Hume seeds. Uh, what we got is basil, chives, parsley, and thyme, and more. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if there's and more. Um, I can only assume these um, big ones here are the parsley. Um, uh, parsley, when they are in seed form, are called something else. I know they're um, also spice if you grind them. Um, I don't can't recall the name right now, but um, the. I think the black ones are basil. So I think these are the ones that sprouted first, <laughs> the basil. But anyway, we're gonna find out once they grow because then they'll actually have the characteristic leaf look. Um, I'm just gonna plant these all in uh, one six celled tray. Um, but let's continue on, it's like Christmas around here. Here's our Ananui lettuce, see how these guys are doing. And got a couple sprouts out of those as well. Just gonna bang through these. These are the jalapeno peppers that I wasn't sure if they're gonna sprout because they're four years old. And we got no sprouts. So uh, maybe these seeds are a little too old for viability, but I'll just keep going with these. Um, sometimes they just take a while to um, sow. But again, too, um, when you have them for that long, what happens is uh, they're just kind of sitting in the um, humid air and uh, it affects the seed germination rate and eventually yeah, you won't um, they won't uh, germinate as healthily or as readily but you can expect that a decrease in germination as well as a longer time to take to germinate and that's why we're talking about heirloom seeds if you can respawn your own seeds every year that'd be great I'm not sure if these commercial seeds are of that quality but, you know, as long as you have a good, decent amount of seeds in your stock, um, you know, these seeds will, they should last for at least four years. So, um, say, if a disaster hits and it's such a huge disaster, you'll be able to still grow your own stuff for, say, four years or something like that. Okay, and lastly, cayenne pepper. These were from the 2011 lot, and let's take a look. Uh, and just like the jalapeno peppers they are swollen but not germinated and that one that was on the outside has germinated so we'll go ahead and plant that one too um i was i was wondering when i was planting these if these uh cayenne peppers and jalapeno peppers have capsaicin in them and i 
guarantee they do. <laughs> so it's probably not a good idea to rub your eyes after touching these seeds, but let me just try them. I'm gonna try this right on film and tell you tell you if they have a little spice to them. Let me just try one. And obviously the seeds are the spiciest part, right? So um, four year old jalapeno seeds. Wow, no, these are a lot older. This is from 1999. I was a little mistaken. These are like 12 years old. My goodness. I um, got these right when we moved to Seattle a long time ago. You know what? They're not even spicy. <laughs> For 12 year old jalapeno seeds, they're not spicy at all. So there you go. Rub your eyes if you want. <laughs> Actually, but I'm not sure. The jalapeno peppers, maybe. Let me try this one. Cayenne pepper. This is from this year's lot. Mmm, yep, these are hot. Okay, maybe these are hot too. Um, holy cow, my mouth is burning now. I don't have a very good pain tolerance for spicy <coughs> spicy foods, especially when my allergies are acting up. But maybe it'll clear out my sinuses. So maybe these did have capsaicin long ago. I don't think, I, you know, now that I tasted the seeds and <laughs> now that I know what they, they're supposed to taste like, all spicy and whatnot, I'm just going to chuck these in the trash can. Or we start, maybe I'll um, go to the store and get some more. Or maybe I'll look online for some good heirloom quality seeds, right? So, anyway, um, we'll follow up with the um, planting video. And we'll see how we sow these. Thanks a lot for watching. These are spicy.